Hi, my name is Jeremy, and since I travel a lot, I keep my travel notes on my website. Here's my website at PCsBikeTrip.com. Of course, I always want my site available and open to visitors, so I've been using Monitor.us to monitor my site so I know if it's working properly. What's great about Monitor.us is that it's a free service and it has so much to offer. It checks my site every 30 minutes from three places in the U Europe and the U.S. If you upgrade to the premium version called Monitus, you can monitor here from up to five locations. Monitor also allows different monitoring frequencies and other additional services. But anyway, for now, the free version works well. Here you can see the dashboard I use. Here it has my daily uptime reports from Austria, Germany, and the U.S. It seems I have some slow rep response times in Germany around 2 a.m., but generally it's good, and I've been hosting my site from Bluehost.com. I have 100% uptime on average with 39 milliseconds response time, and my minimum maximum response times are 37 and 43 milliseconds, which are both excellent speeds. I can also look at my report in different views, like this line chart as you see now, or a table view, and a bar chart. I can also go back to older days to see how my site was performing in the past. I can also see my website uptime by month according to the target service level agreement. I have some days in September which are considered warning days. My site uptime went down to 93% then down to 91%. This means my site was off for some one or two minutes. It's not really that bad, but I'm glad I'm aware of these outages. In Monitor.us, I can look at my visitors' statistics, which is nice. I can look at my page views and unique visitors. This is nice to have hand-to-hand -hand for both availability and performance reports, so I can see how my visitors are affected by each minute downtime. I am having two to three visitors each minute, so I can go back and forth to other days' statistics to see how things are doing. In choosing maps, I can also see my visitors' geographic location. Here it has countries and the top 10 countries. I think I'm doing quite well for such a small site, so I'm pretty happy. I can even sort by city, by browser, by IP address, by referrers, and keyboards. Mostly I track visitors to compare how my website page load time affects my visitor statistics. I can also take a look at the previous and current month stats. I also like that I have the option to add hundreds of tests for as much as I want, and it's still free. Here you can see my test snapshot. As you can see, I have lots of tests for sure. So you may be wondering how these servers are handling it. Well, recently, Monitor's blog stated they performed 20 million checks per day, which is a new record. The red dot here shows the last checks are not okay. So let me try and find out what's up with that test. So here's my list again. Uh-oh. It's not looking good. Here you can see I have a problem from all locations. The red bar twinkles to show that my website is having a problem. I also have tags. You can see a group of my tests by tags and create a tag reports for average performance of say Irish hotels for instance or Parma sites. This is just a fun part to play. So let's go back to my dashboard. So what are statistics for DE? This shows all my tests and rec records from Germany. I think this is cool. There are 15,724 NOKs and 376,980 OKs. Nice, isn't it? Also here I have all the RSS feeds. For all the failures I had from my tests, I can go back any time and see what happened. You know that Monitor.us free version, you can install an agent on your computer and check the CPU, memory, and processes. Here's just a brief look. Here they are. I started my computer at around 1 p.m. and that is why the reports show the numbers after that. Finally, I want to show you what I do about the problems in my site. Here I can add as many contacts as I want. I hit add contact and add the information required. I can even buy SMS phone text messages. You can see all the, my three friends here. I can set them up for getting notified if tests are failed, which means NOK. I think it's a cool service, and I know they have Montius Professional Monitoring Service for a more advanced experience. Domain registration service is also available, which is nice. The service is called Monitor.us. It's this service here. All the easy start buttons are here on this page, and they are really easy to begin with. You might want to try the URL, which is Monitor.us. Good luck, and I hope you enjoy the service.